Now, what types of specific real estate opportunities are available through SkillBridge programs? Yeah, so with our SkillBridge program, it's unique in the sense that uh, most people go through the residential side, and that's where I would recommend most people looking at unless they have significant financial resources uh, coming into it, because the commercial side is a much longer lead time before you get your first closings. And so we can do, though, within our program, there's residential, there's commercial side. If people are interested in the admin side of it, so trying to get licensed and being a transaction coordinator, we can help them with that. And we have an in-house TC that you can learn from and support the team that way, and then go off and do TC work, which part of that benefit is that's all at home work. So if you're a single mom, for example, or a single dad, you got kids at home, you don't want to leave home, that might be the best route to go with your real estate license. Uh, we also have opportunity coming out of the program. If they don't end up doing real estate full-time post the program, there's ways to hang their license to referral only. So to you know use their sphere of influence, be able to help connect them up with the right agents, do referrals from agent to agent. Uh, in the last two years alone, our team's paid out about a quarter million dollars in referral fees to other agents. So we do a lot of agent to agent business and we secure a lot of those referrals. So we can teach you how to do those as well. Um, and then we even have uh, another aspect where with a sister company, you can look at uh, construction if that's something that interests you. So we have pretty much all facets of the real estate industry that we can help with. And where would somebody go if they wanted to talk to you about one of those options? So again, the, the support at skillbridgere.com is the best initial start as far as working through the options uh, and looking at what those are. If they want to schedule a call, they can ask our support staff to get that set up. Uh, they'll reach out to me. And if it's a scenario where it warrants a call on us hopping on the, the call to work through all the various options, then we'll set that up via Calendly and uh, go from there. Can you provide any examples or uh, success stories maybe from other military members who have participated in uh, either your skill bridge program for real estate or others that you're aware of? Several are, are team members in Southern California. So we have team members on the team that have closed deals after coming out of SkillBridge, learned a valuable skill set here, obviously, joined the team, and then we've uh, paired them up with clients to be able to help. And they've also helped their sphere. So one in particular for our team would be Janetta Nuttall. Um, so she came out as a retired Marine out of Camp Pendleton, 20 plus years out of there, um, was a recruiter for a period of time on the Marine side, and now has transitioned into real estate, and that's her primary focus. Uh, and then a couple others that come to top of mind for me would be, uh, we've got a couple agents out in Hawaii uh, that came out of our program and have been doing really good. Um, so Pedro Garcia is one of them. Uh, he came through the program, uh, was on the team for a while and has ventured out as a solo agent now, uh, continuing to be partnered with us. Uh, so he's you know, somewhere in the realm, I would say of hundred dollars to $200,000 a year is probably where his income's at. Uh, and then Zora Morales, who's still on uh, with us as a SkillBridge um, support staff uh, and an, an alum, right? So he helps the folks and he trains folks within our SkillBridge program still. Uh, he's also in Hawaii on Oahu, uh, still a partner agent of ours. And uh, I know he's authorized me to share his range as well. He was, his first couple of years, he's been ranging between 275 to 350K a year. Uh, coming out doing military and then transitioning into real estate branding. And uh, what sets the SkillBridge RE program in particular apart from other transition or SkillBridge programs that might be out there for military service members? Number one, we're in the real estate industry. Not all of them are. So if you're looking for real estate and you're looking for a, a job that gives you flexibility, we're in a space that's unique in that way. Uh, within the real estate industry itself, I would say there's very few out there that are SkillBridge approved by DOD that are fellow military families. And so for us, we understand where you're coming from. I did the full 22 years. I've had the ups and downs in my military career. Uh, I've had the not so fun process as I was getting out and going through those types of scenarios where it's you know not a great situation, uh, which we've had a lot of military members going through that, unfortunately. Uh, I've dealt with my VA claims while doing SkillBridge simultaneously, um, all those types of things. And so we're uniquely positioned in the sense that we understand every aspect of what you're going through as you're transitioning, because I've personally done it. Um, my wife has been, you know, my spouse since 2010. So the vast majority of my military career, she was with me. So she's been a military spouse moving around, understands what that feels like. Um, we understand the whole disassociation from going from an in-person unit and camaraderie and all that into uh, a virtual world and real estate where most people don't collaborate. Fortunately, we're at EXP where pretty much everyone likes to collaborate and help build each other up. 
Uh, so we're in a great situation there. Uh, but again, we understand what you're going to go through. We understand how to help balance uh, doing your VA appointments while you're going through the skill bridge and understanding that you need time for that, understanding what the allowances are, the DOD regs, all the various requirements we're intimately familiar with, not only because I've done a program myself, but also because we've been running this program for military families since 2020.